everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Scuba Digital. Uh, my name is Emma. I'm here in the Cayman Islands. I'm on Grand Cayman, and we're going to talk about diving on this beautiful island that I call home. So as I said, my name is Emma Jane Fisher. I'm the sales and marketing manager here at Sunset House on Grand Cayman. I am also a dive instructor. Um, I've been here at Sunset House for four years, and I've lived in the Caribbean since 06 and on Grand Cayman for nearly uh, 12 years. I'm originally from Edinburgh, Scotland, hence my great accent. Um, but I never dived in the UK, it's far too cold. I'm much better diving here in the, in the Caribbean. So for those of you that don't know, Sunset House is a dive resort. Uh, we sit right on the water in Grand Cayman. And we're kind of like a um, resort come liverboard, so to speak, but on land. So you can roll out of bed, grab breakfast, jump on the dive boats, go for your dives, get back, have lunch, and shore dive um, right in front of the resort to your heart's content. Um, so really diving 24-7. But today I'm here to talk about Grand Cayman, the island, and it's diving. So just in case you don't know where... Uh, the Cayman Islands are, or Grand Cayman. Um, we lie northwest, we're in the northwest of the Caribbean Sea, south of Cuba, and west of Jamaica. But we're only like an hour's flight from uh, Miami, about 430 miles south from Miami. So only an hour. Uh, we do have our own airline, Cayman Airways, um, that has a number of hubs across the US, including Tampa, Miami, new service from um, Denver as well. So, you know, you can you can reach Grand Cayman very easily um, from the US. We're also serviced by Southwest, which is a great airline for divers because they are, I think, the only airline left that do not charge for luggage. So you can get two free bags on there. And they come in from Fort Lauderdale and also from Houston Hobby. And I know a lot of you are over in Europe and the UK. So we're also serviced by British Airways. They come uh, three to five times a week. And they come in from London Heathrow via, with a short stop in NASA in the, in the Bahamas. Um, and also those of you in Canada, we have daily flights from Toronto with um, WestJet and Air Canada as well. But as you can see from my slide, we also have direct flights from Jamaica, Honduras, and Cuba, which are mainly serviced by um, Cayman Airways. So before I move on, you know, it's, it is pretty easy to get here to Cayman, but right now, unfortunately, our borders are still closed due to the ongoing pandemic that is happening worldwide. Um, the Cayman Islands are in a COVID-free bubble, so we're very lucky. Life is really going on as normal here. We don't really have to social distance. We don't have to wear masks. Um, the only difference is, unfortunately, we don't have all you lovely people visiting the islands right now, which is obviously hard for all of us, but that's why we have Scuba Digital so that we can talk about islands and make sure we can welcome you back um, when this is all over. So as I said, we're located in the Western um, Caribbean Sea. The islands are peaks of an undersea mountain range called the Cayman Ridge. And this ridge flanks the Cayman Trough, which is round about 20,000 feet deep or 6,000 meters um, and it lies about 3.7 miles south of the island. Um, so we're very famous for our wall diving that we have. Um, Grand Cayman is the largest island out of the, the three of them. So we have Grand Cayman, Cayman Brack um, and also Little Cayman which are around about um, 75 miles northeast of Grand Cayman. So it's a flight away. Um, but as I said, Grand Cayman is the largest. We're approximately 22 miles long, with the widest point being about eight miles wide. We're kind of at sea level, but we do have elevation up to about 60 feet um, over in the north side. And then on, on the Brack, the topography is very different. They have an actual bluff there, which is very, very different from um, uh, Grand Cayman. So you can see on my slide here, we are British Overseas Territory, it means we're protected by the UK. Um, there's approximately 62,000 people within the three islands and the capital is Georgetown. 
Um, what better national symbol to have than the green sea turtle, which we have many around the island that you can see while you're diving. And our famous uh, Seven Mile Beach runs up the, the west side of the, of the island, but it's only five and a half miles long, but Seven Mile Beach sounds better. And of course, we're surrounded by a beautiful um, coral reefs, which is a huge attraction for all you divers out there. Um, so here's a map of Grand Cayman and also all the dive sites that we have around the island. So the Department of Tourism launched an initiative called Dive 365, and that was launched back in 2008. Um, and it was to highlight the Cayman Islands' dedication to divers um, by providing them with ample opportunities for scuba adventures while preserving the marine environment. Um, so across the three islands, we have 365 dive sites. So a different dive for every day of the year, which is awesome. Now, with us being on Grand, um, just over 200 of them are actually on Grand Cayman, and then the rest of them are between the BRAC and uh, Little Cayman as well. So it, you know, it offers dives for all skill levels, all interests. There's shallow reefs, there's walls, there's swim-throughs, um, and there's wrecks as well. Um, so during this initiative, Department of Tourism and the government decided to add um, some high profile dive destinations. And that one also includes the wreck of the Kitty Wake, which was dive number 365. And I'll, I'll talk about the Kitty Wake a little bit later on. Um, our water all year round is around about 80 farm height, 26 degrees. Diving is very easy. We don't have any rivers or runoff, so we don't have any sediment being deposited. So we usually have very crystal clear waters around the island. Um, they're said to be the least polluted in the world. And, you know, at times we do have over 100 foot visibility, which is amazing. Um, so as a leading dive destination, the island, the, the 365 program enables the Department of Tourism to promote the vibrant marine, marine ecosystem that we have here. Um, and it encourages residents and visitors to, you know, experience and enjoy um, scuba diving. Okay. So wall diving. So Grand Cayman wall diving is considered to be one of the best dive destinations in the in the world. The the Cayman Wall runs around the whole of the island and drops to around about three thousand feet in places. So much deeper than most of us can recreationally or want to, um, you know, dive to. Uh, when you wall dive here, you are actually swimming over the tips of underwater mountains. They're covered in beautiful, magnificent um, coral. And, you know, they, they rise up to sandy plains, thousands of feet below the, the surface. And they're covered in beautiful corals, marine life. Um, as I said, great visibility. Um, we do boast the wall all around the island. So we have the east, the east end, the north side, the west side, and the south. Um, so throughout the year, depending on what the weather is doing, there's always somewhere that we can take you to wall dive as well. Um, they start around about 45 feet to 70 feet on the top of the um, walls, with the south side being the, the deepest area. Um, but when we tie up to the moorings, like the tops of the walls are very, very short distance from the moorings, if not right on the on the wall. So you get to the drop off very, very um, quickly. And as I said, you know, it's clear blue water. You can see in the picture there and I have some other pictures coming up. Um, you know, the visibility ranges from like 80 to 150 feet at times. Um, the walls differ from coral encrusted drop offs. There's some of them have tunnels or cuts in the wall that are great to swim through. Um, and there's also several areas that you can find tarpon, schooling jacks. Um, if you're lucky enough to see eagle rays, I'm the eagle ray jinx. I never get to see them. Lots and lots of turtles um, are all, always frequent in the wall. And then at certain times of year as well, we do have um, larger pelagics as well. Um, we see nurse sharks probably throughout the year. There's a Caribbean reef shark that we see occasionally, um, hammerheads as well. Um, it's, it's very rare to see other kinds of shark, but they are there. And we do have uh, tiger sharks have been spotted in some of the shallow areas um, mm -hmm. as well. And here are just some other beautiful pictures of the walls and the coral that you can see, very colorful. 
All right, so moving on from there, we have a very famous um, attraction called um, Stingray City. Um, it's great that we have that here on Grand Cayman. It's a must-do for visitors to the island. Um, it's described as one of the best 12-foot dives in the world. And you find um, these wild and gentle, gentle and graceful creatures um, in the North Sound. They roam free. They're not caged. It's not like a dolphin place or anything like that. Um, the North Sound is like 35 square mile area protected by reef. And the stingrays come into the sandy areas to, um, to feed. So the reason, why, the reason why it's there is years ago, local fishermen um, would anchor in the North Sound to escape the rough waters while they were gutting their catch. And they would throw the scraps overboard. Um, over time, they realized that the southern stingrays um, were coming in to get a free meal um, in that area and because they were returning every day. So the stingrays would come around, the fishermen would throw over the scraps and they were getting a free meal. So today um, is visited by dozens of stingrays and instead of the fishermen, it's the divers um, that are there feeding the, the, the rays and, and really wrangling them so you can interact with them during your dive. Um, so we take squid with us. We take you down onto the sandy bottom. Just like the picture there, you can see the, the dive instructor with the, with the ray. Um, and they're incredibly friendly. They'll brush past you. Um, you can touch under their wings. They'll, they do eat out of your hand, but it's only the dive instructor that's doing that. Um, and they really, they feel like, they feel like velvet or like a uh, portobello mushroom or something like that. Now, this is a wildlife interaction zone. So it's an area that we're allowed to interact with, with the wildlife. I know some people, they always think that you shouldn't touch, um, but the stingrays are very, very tame and they, they, they know that they're, they're gonna get some food. So there's two areas on Grand Cayman. One is called Stingray City and one is called the, the Sandbar. So as I said, Stingray City is 12 feet deep and it's usually where you go to, to dive. Um, and then we have the Stingray Sandbar, which is where the majority of the visitors um, go that maybe aren't divers. And the water there is only two to four feet deep. So even for non-swimmers, you can stand in the water. Um, and same thing, somebody gets in the water with you and they wrangle the stingrays and you have a great opportunity to interact with them. It's suitable for all ages and you get some really great um, photographs of the rays as well. Um, if you have the opportunity and you kiss a stingray, then it's meant to be seven years good luck. Um, okay, and then on to one of our other um, amazing attractions we have in Grand Cayman, which is the wreck um, of the Kitty Wake. Now, she arrived in Cayman in 2010. She was the best Christmas present ever that year because she arrived on Christmas Day. She was towed down um, by Tugboat America from uh, the U.S., and she was sunk in Grand Cayman on the west side on January 5th, 2011. And you can see a picture in the next slide of her sinking, but you can see one from the, the surface there on this slide. Uh, now I was on the water that day watching the sinking. It was the longest three hours of my life. Um, however, it was very exciting when she finally dropped. And at that time she did drop um, straight up and down, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, so she is 251 feet long. The one foot is very important. Um, and she's 44 feet on her beam. So she's 44 feet wide. She's solid steel. Um, and she has 18 bulkheads and single screw propeller made of solid brass that you can see um, at the stern while you're diving. She had the complement while active um, of 10 officers and 98 enlisted service personnel. Now, she may sound big, but when you're in there diving around her, you, you kind of wonder where all these guys <laughs> were, because to me, there's not a lot of room when you're, <laughs> when you're in there. Um, she, sit, she was sunk at the northern end of Seven Mile Beach on the west side or lee side of Grand Cayman. And she sits now in where she's resting at 75 feet at her deepest um, to around about 35 um, feet on the, on the surface. She has five decks to explore it and she's 47 feet tall. So there's a lot of like nooks and crannies to look for and 
you know, when you go and dive on there, they're fully guided. So you get to see a great amount that, you know, on the, on the ship. Um, her upper deck had two bridges. So they, they had one external and one internal. So while they were traveling in rough water, obviously they would use the internal one. And there's also a radio and navigation room. On the main deck um, from five to stern, internally you'll find a recreation room, which still has like where the tables and chairs were. There's a mess hall. There's an ironing press. If you want to stop and press your BCD while you're diving through. Um, there's a workshop. And also because she was... Um, a submarine rescue vessel, she also has recompression chambers on there. So she's really unique for scuba divers. Um, and there's some pictures that you can see of them, you know, the divers going down in my next slide. Um, there's also a large A-frame structure at the stern which supported the submarines and the hard heart divers, um, as well as a diving bell that they would use when the divers would enter um, to return to the ship from the ocean and then be placed into the chambers for um, decompression. Below the main deck, there's another, there's a further two decks, which were crew quarters. There was a med, medic station, um, an engine room and propulsion room, as, as well as storage and compressors. Um, there's also like, there's a gray area that had the propeller shaft that we call Shaft Alley that you can explore as well while you're down there. It's pretty dark. <laughs> Um, she's been opened up, um, obviously, before she was sunk. So she was made safe for divers um, before she was sunk. Now, the picture that you'll see here, you see she's resting on her, on her side now. So in October 2017, we had the outer bands of Tropical Storm Nate pass, like, pretty far away from the Cayman Islands. However, the storm surge moved the wreck um, onto her side now. So she's a completely different dive. So we have we obviously get a lot of repeat visitors here in Grand Cayman, and you know over the years now we've had lots of people dive her straight up, and now she's on her side, and it does make for you know a different way to see the wreck, which is pretty cool. Um, the Kitty Wake is situated in a marine park, so she's protected under uh, Cayman law, and all the all operators that take visitors there are licensed, and a, mar a marine park fee is collected to you know, it goes to the ongoing maintenance and protection of the of the artificial reef. Um, her primary mission when she was in service was to rescue sailors from drowned submarines. She was very much a diving vessel, um, and many of her stories are still locked away as classified. We have been lucky over the years to dive with some of the ex-sailors, um, so they do tell us some stories. Uh, but over 50 years, she's collected many, many of them, and... Um, you know, from rescuing submarines and to salvage operations, recovering the black box from the Challenger disaster, which is probably maybe the most recent history. Um, she served in many, many countries across the Caribbean, um, the Western Atlantic, stops in Bermuda, St. Thomas, St. Croix, Puerto Rico, Havana, Cuba, to name a few. Um, and she also did Atlantic crossings to the North Sea. Um, so she saw the, she did see the world. And I know she was actually um, a little bit in Scotland as well, which is where I'm from, which is pretty cool. Um, so any of our ex-crew that we've met, you know, they say about her, um, to know her was to love her, and God bless the USS Kittywake and those who served aboard her. So she is definitely um, an amazing wreck to explore when you're here. It's a, it's a must-do. Um, you can dive in the day, and then some operators also do night dives on her as well. Um, she's not the only wreck we have in Grand Cayman. We have the Oro Verde um, the Nicholson and the Doc Paulson. The Nicholson is actually um, right here at Sunset House. She's at she's sunk on our shore site, so you can actually dive that one from shore, which is pretty pretty cool. So we also have some great reef diving, and there's a lot of shore diving on Grand Cayman as well. So you have the main wall, and then you also have an inner mini wall, which starts round about. Um, 30 to 35 feet and drops to about 60, 65 feet. Um, and then the reef system is kind of like tongue and groove that you can swim up and down to explore. Now our shore diving is it's not like Bonaire. If you're used to shore diving in Bonaire where you load up your car and go and drive around the island and stop at the yellow, you know, the little yellow stones. Um, our famous shore diving sites around the island all have dive shops attached to them. So when you get there, you would just rent a tank from them. 
which means there's um, safety, um, you know, there, there's people there watching the dive site. So you know that you, you're going to be safe um, and there's all the facilities that you would need. So we have it here at Sunset House. Eden Rock is just down the road from us. And then up in West Bay, we have Turtle Reef, Cobalt Coast and Lighthouse Point as well. So there's lots of shore dives to check out while you're, while you're here as well. Um, two other things to see while you're shore diving is right here at Sunset House Resort, we have the mermaid that you can see a picture of there. Um, she was sunk 20 years ago and she stands guard over our reef at the resort. And then also the guardian of the reef as well, which is another statue that was sunk um, at Lighthouse Point, which is in West Bay. So Grand Cayman is great for training. As I said previously, um, you know, our, our visibility is great. We really don't have strong currents like other Caribbean locations. Um, there's multiple dive agencies represented across the island. Sunset House, for example, we're predominantly PADI, but we're also SSI and RAID as well. Um, so it's a great opportunity if you're traveling with non-divers for them to try diving or learn to dive. Um, there's operators on island that offer free diving and technical diving um, is also available with open circuit and rebreather. And, you know, there's not a better place really to explore our walls when you're doing um, technical diving as well, which is, which is great. Um, so a number of years ago, the Department of Environment issued permits to start coral nurseries around all three islands. Sunset House and our dive shop here, Sunset Divers, was awarded one of those um, permits. And we now have five trees each holding over 100 fragments of staghorn coral right out on our reef, on our house reef. Uh, we work in conjunction with Eco Divers Reef Foundation who maintain the coral nurseries around Grand Cayman and also the Department of um, Environment. So there's a large stretch out front of the resort running north to south that has been um, replenished from, the, from our, our nursery, which is great. So it's spawning. Um, those little spawns are carried up and down the reef and, you know, we can see that we've got new stanchions of the um, staghorn coral, which is, which is amazing. Um, so we do offer a number of courses and coral nursery experiences. So on your next visit, you can become a citizen scientist during your stay. And we also have um, paddy specialty courses that you can do in coral conservation as well. So it's a great way to, you know, to give back to the island and, and the reef. Um, so Cayman, you know, it is all about the diving here. A lot of people come here to dive, um, but we do have other things to do during your, you know, surface interval. Um, we have some great sort of um, historic venues that you go learn about the island, like Pedro Castle and our National Museum. If you fancy a drink, um, then you can check out uh, Cayman Spirits Company, which makes Seven Fathoms Rum, and also our, our Cayman Islands Brewery. Uh, you can taste rum cakes. You can visit Hell always a good place to send a postcard from and we also have the turtle center where you can learn all about the turtle breeding programs that they have on the on the island uh the crystal caves that you can see down there in the picture um they're an amazing attraction to go and visit we have botanical gardens rum point is an awesome beach place with a great um beach bar the famous seven mile beach we have um barkers national park and also um world-class restaurants and shopping i mean we are the culinary capital of the Caribbean is the Cayman Islands. So lots to do um, during your surface interval. So we are Cayman kind. That is kind of the motto of the islands. We're unique um, from the friendliness of our people and our rich cultural heritage to our cosmopolitan style and stunning natural beauty and warm welcome. Cayman kind is what awaits you when you visit our islands. So myself representing Sunset House um, is here at Scuba Digital. You can come by our booth and watch some of our videos. But we also have other Cayman partners. We have Clearly Cayman, and they have resorts on the sister islands, Little Cayman, the Brat, and also on Grand. And then our Department of Tourism is also here as well. So they can help you with um, any other questions that perhaps Clearly Cayman or myself um, can't help you with. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a lot about um, Grand Cayman. I'm just going to end and I'm going to check the um, chat to see if anyone has any questions. No, I don't see. Does anyone have any questions? 
Well, thank you, Emma Jane. Um, great presentation. I just wanted to say I have been to Cayman. I stayed at Sunset House. It is great and awesome. So anyone, any questions, please go look for Emma Jane at your booth at Sunset House. Mm -hmm.